and good morning, Shafter High School, and welcome back to HQTV, Shafter High School's news source. Today is Friday. Thank God it's Friday, October 6th, and here's what's going on in your general community. Um, the price is $85 right now for yearbook if you order online. It's important to pre-order your yearbook. It saves you money and guarantees you get one. Every year they sell out, so don't miss out, and make sure you pre-order. You can pre-order through jossens.com dot com or of course at the finance office all right picture makeup day for you is thursday october 12th this is during lunch on the auditorium stage okay please get your picture taken if you didn't get it taken at the end of last year or during the first week of school remember these pictures are not for the current you they are for the future you that sounds Oh, that's so nice. The future <laughs> you. I mean, future. Like, and maybe they can even have you do the future look where you're like just looking off to the future. <laughs> Isn't that like one of the Drake covers where he's like gazing at something? Yeah, I have that album. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seniors, Wednesday, October 11th, Steven Studios will be on campus for your last opportunity to get your senior pictures taken. If you didn't go to the studio, this is your last chance. Senior pictures will be taken by the big tree in front of the auditorium on October 11th from 9 to 10.30 a.m. We can't stress enough that if your senior picture is going to be in the yearbook for you to look back on from years from now and be like, oh my God. Once again, the future you. Yes. So be sure to get your picture taken at the last chance date. For your future you. See Miss Marshall for information. And also seniors, there are a few more senior ad spaces still available. So also see Ms. Marshall for details on buying your senior ads. If you pretty much have any questions about the yearbook. Or anything, seniors. Generals, in general, yeah. go see Ms. Marshall. Yep. All right, please make sure that you have key club members. Please make sure that you have paid your annual dues to Mrs. Smith in room 502. The money needs to be turned in ASAP, as soon as possible, for you to be considered an active member in key club. Now. Today, we're blessed, yeah. I think. If I were to say anything, it would be totally hashtag blessed oh, to have Jensen, blessed? our weatherman, hashtag blessed, <laughs> um, hashtag blessed, uh, as our weatherman. And he's actually, we, th we flew him out on the general corporate jet to, uh, to Italy to do our weather today. So here, Jensen, are you there? Jensen, Jensen, you there? <laughs> I am here, guys. Oh, good uh, to see you, Jensen. Good to see you, too, Mr. Perucci. I am here in Italy. Um, I don't know, maybe, like, want to be, where should I be in Italy? In Paris. I'm in Paris. Well, well I'm not there, Jensen, but if you, uh, if, if I was there, you're probably in some very, I don't know, historic building. Yeah. Um, yes. In this, in this old church. In um, this old church? So let's look at the weather. And <laughs> so uh, today is Friday. <laughs> today is Friday, guys, and we have a high of 84, a low of um, 50, 52. Uh, on tomorrow, which is Saturday, we have a high of 90, a low of 55. Uh, when on Sunday, we have a high of 86 and a low of 55. And yeah, it's going to be mostly sunny for the rest of those days. And we will update you next Monday if anything else happens. So yeah, um, this is a really cool place. Um, you know, old building, a lot of cool stuff. Um, yeah, I think we're on private property, so I have to leave. So, bye. <coughs> bye. Wow, that was amazing, Jensen. That was something. Man, I tell you what, we need to maybe spend more money on him. We do. Going out to really cool places to do the weather. He popped um, out of a box. Or he, like, yeah, it was like a jack-in-the-box thing. It was really, really super cool. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know what? It's time for sports. It is. It's time, yeah. It, but no. Oh wait, well no, <laughs> it would be time for sports normally, but I don't. I'm calling audible. Hey, FCA Tuesday during lunch in the old gym. Go listen to a great message. Uh, not sure if there's going to be pizza, 
But to be honest with you, you shouldn't go for the pizza in the first place. You shouldn't. Um, for all K-pop fans, everyone is welcome to come That's to the That's Korean K pop. Yeah. I found I, that I, out yesterday. I found that Interesting out. Interesting information. The other day. I was like, whoa, coolness. Korean pop. Oh, so K-pop meeting during lunch in Miss Castrejon's classroom, 905, on Mondays and Tuesdays. So be there. And now it's time for sports. Now it's time for sports. With me. Okay. Girl soccer players. Workouts will begin on Monday. <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me. October 9th at 4.15 p.m. Meet inside the stadium near the West Side Bleachers. Athletes are to, pee, are to be prepared for workouts by wearing appropriate clothes, such as running shoes, t-shirts, and shorts, but no spaghetti straps. Workout on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday morning. Mm. That's morning, yes. Yes. Also, if there are any girls interested in helping this season as team manager, please see Coach Luce Torres. There is an opportunity to get a free physical at Sagebush Clinic Saturday, October 28th, so sign up in the activities foyer, but you have to make sure you have your physical done by the 16th of October in order to do a winter sport. So you have a free physical on the 28th, but you need to have it done by the 16th. So figure that out somehow. I'm sorry. Softball workouts will begin by the new weight room for any girl interested in softball, not in a fall or winter sport. Um, oh, and about that physical, make sure you have it turned into Ms. Penner by Monday on the 16th. So the first day of mandatory conditioning for winter sports starts Monday, October 16th. If you don't have your physical and paperwork, you will not be able to participate until those are turned in. Um, all baseball players, there will be a meeting in room 507, the last 15 minutes of lunch on Thursday, October 12th. All players interested need to attend, even if you are in another sport. Um, I already talked about softball. Yes. Yes, I did. So. Um, yeah, I did, right? You did. Okay, cool. So there's a cross-country barbecue today. Football, JV, and varsity versus Taft at 5 and 7.30. Make sure you wear pink. And yesterday, our, volley our volleyball team had lost. But you know what? It's okay because I'm pretty and you guys are all beautiful and it means something. So good job. <laughs> and I think that's all for sports. So I'll see you guys at today's game. See, I think I just, <laughs> I just warmed up. You know what? Us. We, you know, vanity. It's, it's a lost art, I think. Um, anyways, uh, Liz just talked about it. Hey, wear your, your pink today to the football game. <clears throat> We're uh, supporting. We're also going to try to raise money for breast cancer awareness. So bring your dollar, 50 cents, whatever you can to help out. That goes to our local um, uh, Relay for Life team. Now, right, let's look at upcoming events. So, uh, obviously, game tonight, uh, we have their pink out. We have a two-hour early out. Oh, is that, when's that? The two-hour early out I is think on Tuesday. On Tuesday, uh, <laughs> we have a late start Wednesday. So, that's like a super, like, that's three hours, like, in, that, that's awesome. Uh, the first quarter ends next week. So, hey, students, last chance to get in your late work. Or, you know, go and kiss some butt to see, see if you can get a better grade. <laughs> and fall sports cheer. Uh, picks are next week. So, you know, that's pretty much the the other stuff. I'm not really sure what that refers to and we'll let somebody who knows a little bit more about it. So, uh, that's it. I think, is that is that it? Oh, you know, if you're feeling sick, go to the nurse. There you go. Yep. Yeah, just go to the nurse and tell her you're sick and she will uh, get you out of here. Of course, because that's what they do. And remember to take advantage of the help that tutoring can give you. So go to the library on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 3 to 7 o'clock p.m. Hey, uh, it's the end of the show. Shucks. Okay, but hey, we're going to have a, if you've ever wondered what it's like to be behind the camera on this side, we have the VR camera set up today. So you can go on to our YouTube page and click on it, and you'll be able to be a host for the day, kind of, sort of. So hello, third host. Okay, but on that note, have a great day, Generals. Tune in on Monday, Monday, Monday. for another great episode of HQTV News, Shafter High's News Source. <laughs>